other guy, he just saw it. Just looked at him, knew that motherfucker was fucked up. What's up, Blue? Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Yep. Hey, there was a man, there was a man arrested in Lake City, Columbia County, and uh, his name was Tim Hodges, and he was uh, walking home from jury duty at 8.30 in the morning, and he was accosted by the uh, Columbia County Sheriff's Department, and he was arrested. He had a walking stick, and it, there was a retaliation <laughs> arrest because he said he wanted their names for a complaint. And the videos out there, I seen it first on the Rice Krispie. Um, but his name is Jim Hodges. You can look him up. He needs uh, subscribers. And um, don't, make, don't make us look, sir, please. Okay, uh, but the reason I come up is huh. I want to call Lake City. Uh, Lake, I want to call Columbia County Sheriff's Department in Lake City, Florida, and uh, talk to the Internal Affairs and um, get a uh, copy of the internal affairs complaint because you know them fuckers always act like you didn't file an internal affairs complaint. You know how it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to do that live on your channel. Like I said, let me know because we can do it. Um, and if that's only right down the road from me. There's a couple places I'd like to go over there one day, but um, I don't ever have backup, and it's kind of dangerous. Please don't back up. <laughs> There's a lot of dangerous places over there that people don't know about. I'd like to go make sure you but, you know, say, um, that's a definitely a thing. I'd like to go over there and stand in front of the damn police department and say, hey, what up, mothers? But I've been there. Most of the police over there aren't like that. That's really weird. That's really weird that they would do that. They would go to that extreme knowing. I don't know. Maybe they just need talk. We need to teach them, I guess, huh? And all they need talk with a big, thick stick on the back of her soft side but hey i got some walking sticks i can hook everybody up yes, we can walk over and start walking with our sticks i got carved sticks fucking out the ass i probably got a half a dozen or more around here we could use the maybe 10 or 20 that we could use to walk they're not you know the best of the best but hell maybe i'll have a giveaway walking stick over here we'll just i'll just show up and start donating walking sticks to people they can arrest everybody for having a fucking carved walking stick <laughs> well, it looks I like a gun so much, you know. I mean, you, you can't really distinguish it from a fucking firearm, you know? What, a gun or a stick? Yeah, yeah. It, it, looks, it looks exactly like something that would just fucking take you out. I'm just saying, especially some old guy trying to hobble down the road. Yeah, let me know. I'd definitely go over there. I'll go over there if they want to go over there. If anybody's going to go there, I'll meet you all over there. I saw 40 minutes from my house, 45 minutes, I'll be right on back. And, and he was blind, legally blind. What? Yeah. Oh, man. Fuck, did I got to go there fuck now? Man. Fuck. DC accuracy. We got to go, blood. Come on. Let's rock on, bud. We go over to a story about this shit. I need, I need to cut. I need to Maybe I'll go over But he's probably a veteran. Maybe I'll go over there tomorrow or next day. Do we know if the guy was a fucking perv or not? I'm just saying, we got to background check all these motherfuckers now. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't know who they got that goddamn perverts out of the camera. Hey, y'all. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, TBF. Go yeah, ahead, <laughs> I just shared the link. Um, it's in the back door. <laughs> oh, hell, thank you, Black National. Appreciate you. Black National always on it, y'all. He is always fucking on it. Here's Rice Krispie. Rice Krispie channel here. Turn music off, would you? Fucking mute it. Small channel called Jim Hodges. He had 16 subscribers when I accepted. Thanks to HBO Net also for sending me this video. Links to both new channels are in the description. On October 31st, Halloween of this year, 2022, a couple of deputies from the Columbia County Sheriff's Office here in Florida arrested a blind man for carrying his walking cane. Sergeant Harrison of the Columbia County Sheriff's Office displayed poor leadership in arbitrarily taking this man's freedom just because he asserted his Fourth Amendment right. The resisting an officer without violence law here in Florida is overbearing and it's very broad. Problem. You're 
No, to go over that, to wait to freedom. <laughs> hey, to go over that, he should have waited till they got the handcuffs off. <laughs> so if you're ever in this position and you're about to let you go, let them get the handcuffs off before you tell them you want their badge numbers and their cards. That's a learning event here because he was still cuffed. They said, oh, well, being as you want our identification, we can just arrest you for resisting. He didn't resist anybody. All he did was not fuck. He stood up for his First Amendment by saying, I don't have to give you my ID unless I'm under arrest. Once they arrested him for resisting, then he would have had to give up his ID. So they violated his Fourth Amendment, his First Amendment, probably the 14th too, and maybe some more. But the main part is, Columbia County, you're fucked. <laughs> On your own goddamn body cams, you guys are fucked, Columbia County. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I love this shit. Fuck you, Anybody, uh, Does anybody know the, got the name and phone number of that? That uh, police department. Yeah, Columbia County, Florida. Just type in Columbia County, Florida Police Sheriff's Office. That's the Columbia County, Florida Sheriff's Office right there. I'm going to give them a call. Yeah, give them a call. Yeah, there it is. Call, call them now. Call them now. Blue Snail, don't talk about it. Be about it. Call them. I was, but you put your video up. I we got to watch what we were talking about. We got to know the facts first. We got to have the clip. Man. Now we got the evidence. We know what to look for when you start talking to them. What are you going to ask them? You got oh, a plan? I'm going to want the internal affairs complaint. Okay. Um, I want a copy of that. And I want to know that uh, deputy's name for that was assigned to car 5333. Do you have an email address for any of the information? Yeah, blue steel. Cop, here's, here's what I like to do. Once you get an officer, other than the fucking dumbass dispatcher, the first question you ask them is their name and you you know your pleasantries. Then you ask them, and this is my the way, do you have an email address where I can contract you directly? And you write that email. Now you have a, a touch a, a base to touch with. You ain't got to worry about calling. See what I mean? You have a direct email contact with the person. Once you got that email from him, then you start asking him the questions. Okay, so PDF, I'm going to get the email first. I got you. Uh, I need an email contact, contact point. Do you, I need an email contact point for you. Because he can tell you any name. I'm Sergeant fucking Joe Blow. And you might not even be a motherfucker there with that name. But if you get that contact point, well now, and if he lied to you, well, hey, man, you know, that's a whole nother uh, ro rodeo there, you know, because, you well, know, public information. I mean, yeah, this is definitely needs to be told. I need to uh, help this guy get his story out a little bit. I know Rice Krispie did, so there's, there's a little I could do to help him now. I mean, he said Rice Krispie the link, so he already got it. So the guy's going to get some fucking views, I guarantee you. So go to Rice Krispie's page. I'm sure he's got a link. I'm getting ready to restart my call and everything. All right, well, everybody mute your mic when he gets on there. That way they don't hear me over here screaming, fuck the police. That's just wrong. Anybody would treat another person like that, man, just to show their power. <clears throat> or I can, so I will. And they're so used to getting away with doing shit like that that they do it freely. They have no care. They figure they're going to get away with it. Nobody's going to know. But they keep forgetting. Hey, Body can. Columbia County Sheriff's Department, Florida. Hey, Troll, you better call him quick because we call him too. Office on US 90 in Lake City. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought you joined us before. It's Carol.
County Sheriff's Department non-emergency number. Hey Siri, Columbia County Sheriff's Department, Florida, non-emergency number. The phone number for Columbia County Sheriff's Office is plus 13,867,529,000. society and uh, this is the way it works they don't know do the know. job the cops won't do their jobs no more they're soft on any crime unless they see you with a camera or a walking stick in your back pocket the dumbass cop can't tell the difference between a folded up fucking stick and a gun no they wanted to see who this guy was walking through their town and she was going to identify this motherfucker even if she had to violently arrest him or whatever it took. So no, they're violating the law, the First Amendment. The laws in Florida, they don't get to just walk up and ask for identification. We have to be arrested. We have to be suspected of committing a crime or caught committing a crime. Suspected just because you think somebody had a gun in their back pocket and it's a walking stick and then they show it to you. You don't get to get the ID off that person. Not in Florida. We're not a, you know, you just walk up and we have to pass you our dime. This ain't fucking Nazi Germany, piggy. And you're going to learn over there in fucking Columbia County because that man going to take you all to the cleaners. I love watching this. It's about time North Florida gets another Let's lesson. Good them. morning. I would like to speak to someone in the Internal Affairs Corporate Compliance Office. Yes, there was. 
okay, um, I'm going to want a copy of that. Can I call your records bureau and get a copy of that? Oh, I don't want the investigation. I just want a copy of the initial complaint. And if you want to win these fucking cases, 
you see what that dude did? He didn't fight. He didn't act a fool. He didn't cuss. He's perfect fucking jury friendly. And if you go to a court, you're going to have to be jury friendly. You know that, right? Which I'm not. See, you have to play well with others. I bet you Hammer don't either. <laughs> yeah, but he's more jury friendly because he has more professional words, don't you, Hammer? <laughs> yeah, the bunch of different languages. <laughs> so what, I've, what I've come to find out when dealing with, with politicians and police and law enforcement, the, the best method is just to play stupid. You know what I mean? Dumb yourself down a little bit, play stupid, and, and portray as if they have the upper hand. Because what they're going to do is they're going to divulge information without them even knowing it. Because their ego gets in the way. And they're trying to overwhelm you and overpower you. So at the end of that session, you just simply tell them thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, as they're stuffing you and cuffing you in the back of the car. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, sure, thank thanks, you. Thanks, thanks for this paycheck y'all about to give me. I've been sitting on for a year and wait to get a check. Motherfuckers. They don't get to treat us that way. That was so many laws. I'd say at least the first, the fourth, and the fourteenth. Hey, I want to say right, something I'm... to the hammer and let the hammer hear this. I think that uh, it's my belief that if countries around the world keep seeing how the law enforcement and the rule of law is in, in the United States, they're going to devalue our currency and our credit. And, uh, uh, we're not going to hold the worldwide opinion and the uh, clout that we normally have as Americans. I see it coming because all these things are, you know, public records now. What's your thought on that, Mr. Hammer? Well, with the advent of Obama, we lost our triple A rating in the real commodity markets. Uh, Trump bought it back to triple A rating, and now we're, we've just lost our triple A rating again. So for the second time in 20 years, we've lost that. And what that does is it, it, it exactly devalues the leverage of our dollar. See, things are not getting more expensive. It's just the leverage of the dollar is going down. Yep. See, people think, oh, prices are increasing. No, it's not. The dollar, the leverage of the dollar is decreasing. I mean, when you watch, hey, and something so simple as freaking plywood went from $22 a sheet to over 100 That's fucking rip-off. There's no possible way you can tell me that should have even been close to legal. But hey, I want to charge $1,000 for a fucking walking stick. The prices are now one grand. For a walking in a, free, in a free market enterprise, you have the right to name your price and... and that would be a rip-off. That would be a fucking rip-off, man. Well, I mean, you can't. People can do that. Yeah. Fuck, I, could, I can't be that way. That's what I'm saying. Some people are that way. They just don't give a fuck. I think I have too much empathy. I really do. Right. I should. I need to give rid of some empathy, I think. I well, you know, and, and that's just the, the better model of a business practice would be, you know, when I have somebody come into my shop and they're $20 short, and they, you know, look like they're doing rough, down on their luck or whatnot. And they're trying to defend their families. I, what's $20? You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. That's the way I am. I swear. Hey, Pia. Yeah? Yes. I got to get going here. I got to go pick hey, up my meds. Thank you for fucking sharing that, dude. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. I, I could have done it, but I've been. I appreciate it. You guys got it down so fast. You're so good at this shit, man. But yeah. Thank you, Pia. Nice. Hey, black man, hey, freedom fighter, fuck, make it, go find that video, do a fucking uh, copy, talk about it, put it on your page, man, I'm sure to oh, go on the link, and, um, I, I, you know, stop and say, because you can explain it because you've been through it, you know, and you know, you know what I mean, and it'll help you with, um, you know, getting you some stories out there, because we need to share this story, we got to get this guy's story out there. Yes, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for FYI, they're making, uh, all the big channels are making copies of this video, James Madison just did it. Um, and it don't matter whether we get a lot of views, it matters that the story's going to be out there. Yes. yes. It ain't a matter of views, we ain't going to make no money on it, but it, we get to tell the story. I don't, I don't the for money. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying, I don't make no damn money, I got fucking, I don't make shit, I made $55 
match. Come on, that's like, now, fuck, most of that was from Terry Golston's Super Chat. Very interesting. Very, very 